Hey guys. Um, okay, so I'm doing June favorites. Woo! Um, I don't think I've ever done a favorites video, but I want to start doing monthly favorites. So I figured, what's today? The 28th. This would probably be, no, 27th, 26th. I don't even know what the date is today. But, um, it's close to the end of June, so that works. <laughs> um, my hair is up, which I'm not a fan of, but it's so freaking hot. So that is why, if you were wondering. I mean, you probably weren't wondering. But anyway, this is going to bother me. My blanket poking up. Okay, so um, I'm going to start. So, of course, most of the products are beauty products because I wear makeup every day. And... What is that? Oh, it's on the screen. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just going to start with fragrances. So for body spray, I have been wearing this like crazy. And this is the Amber Romance um, Body Mist from Bath & Body Works. Wait, no. It's Victoria's Secret. What am I thinking? <sighs> Victoria's Secret. I love this scent. It is like amazing. And it goes really well with all my perfumes. Like, I'll put this on, like, after I get out of the shower, and then I'll put my perfume on. And it just smells so good. It's black cherry, something I can't pronounce, and sandalwood. And it smells so freaking good. I love this. Okay. And I've been using it because I didn't get it that long ago. So, I love it. And then the perfume that I've been wearing, I didn't like it at first. But now I do. That's why, like, if I don't like a perfume that I own, I don't get rid of it. Because eventually I'll like it at some point. So, this is the Betsy Johnson perfume. And it's so cute. The bottle's really cute. See? It's all pretty and sparkly and pink, which I love. Um, uh, it smells so good to me right now. Before it didn't smell... Oh, what does it smell like? It smells like... um. Jessica Simpson's Fancy, which smells horrible. It smells like like brown sugar and pennies or something. This smells just like that. But for some reason, I love it right now. And these two mixed together is amazing. I freaking love it. So, that is my fragrances. Those are my fragrances. And then, since this is a little thing, um, this is the Caribbean Escape um, Pocket Pocket um, antibacterial gel from Bath and Body Works and it is almost completely gone if you can see that um, I love this like every single time I'm next to my vanity which is like all day <laughs> I use this so it's like honestly when I first got I got like five of them and that was the last one that I was using I was using the fresh market apple but like honestly it got down it was probably about here and it got down to there within like a week like I was using it like crazy it smells amazing it's an amazing like summer summer scent oh my god it smells so good I'm just kidding that was weird I'm sorry <laughs> um but yeah I love it okay now you guys have heard about this because I use it every single day. But now that it's summertime and it's getting crazy hot in California, um, I am almost out of my breath of fresh air from Lush. I love this stuff. Like if I'm in my room and it's hot, I just spray it all over my face and like my shoulders and my chest. And I just feel like so refreshed. And if you watch my foundation routine, you guys already know that I use this on my foundation brush before I apply my foundation. I use this after I wash my face every day. Um, I use it when I'm hot. I use it all the time. Like it's almost completely gone. And this is a big bottle. This is 8.4 fluid ounces and it's a mist. So and it's probably about here, I'm assuming. So I need to go buy another bottle of this. This is probably the only thing that I'll repurchase from Lush. Um, what should I do next? Get this out of the way. Um, the next thing is the Sonia Kashuk Eye Makeup Remover. Um, I had heard a lot of good things about this, and I bought it. I think it's like nine dollars. 
Um, when I first used it, I didn't think that it was like amazing, but I love this stuff, especially, oh, excuse me, especially because I use waterproof mascara, so this stuff gets everything off. The one thing that I can say though, if you use this, it's definitely oil based, so sometimes when you're taking off your eye makeup, it like just moves it to another spot. Like it'll stay, it'll stay really wet, so you can just wipe it off. But it'll move it. Like I've noticed, like I'll be removing my eye makeup, like my mascara, and it'll move it like here, because it's really wet and oily. But it gets everything off. So this is amazing stuff, and I'm gonna need another bottle of this soon too. Okay, and then since we're talking about face stuff, um. This is the new face wash that I've been using. If you watch my old um, skincare routine, it's 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 changed a little bit. Um, so maybe I'll do an updated one, like a summer skincare routine. But I've been using the oil-free acne wash from Neutrogena. And this is the Pink Grapefruit Cream Cleanser. I also got the scrub, which I haven't been using as often but I've been using this a lot and it just, it makes your skin feel so refreshed, like it wakes you up in the morning. Like I wanna show you guys what it looks like. You see it? It's pink, another plus. But yeah, um, I just really like it. It makes my skin feel like really clean and fresh and like just the way that I want it to feel when I wash it. Um, there's no residue or anything like that, so um, yeah, I don't usually read what it says it's supposed to do, because what does that matter if it's not doing that for you? I don't know, I just don't pay attention to that, but I can let you know how I feel about it. That's the point, right? Yeah. Um, oh, that was probably ugly. <laughs> okay, now, sunblock. Oh my gosh, you guys, sunblock so important especially for me because I could be like in the car and if my arm is like in the sun like shining through the window I get fried so I wear sunblock on my face at least every single day um, even if I'm just inside the house and really you're supposed to wear sunblock every single day no matter your skin tone I don't care I don't want to hear any of that I don't care if you're dark I don't care if you're pale like you need to wear sunblock and really, my mom went to some like, um, like lecture thing, and they were saying that African Americans with darker skin tones are usually more likely to get skin cancer because they don't know they have it. So keep that in mind. Like it's so important, and I don't want to be all wrinkly when I'm old. So I put some block on my face every single day and this is what I use that's what I'm getting to I get like off on other topics um, this is the Neutrogena ultra sheer dry touch sunblock SPF 100 and that's another thing um, that my mother also learned and I actually learned this in beauty school as well is that anything over the SPF of 30 is crap like it just is pointless so the fact that this is a hundred SPF really doesn't is like whatever to me but this is what I grabbed, so just just to let you know. Um, I really, really like this, though, because it doesn't feel like sunblock is really gross and, like, heavy. And sometimes I'm like, I don't want to put sunblock on my face because then it's going to mess up my makeup and it's going to feel gross and, like, clog my pores. But this doesn't do that. So I really like this. And what else? Okay. Lip balm. This video is going to be so long. I need to hurry up. I'm just going to go through this stuff. Um, this is the Nivea Kiss of Milk and Honey. I've really been liking this. I have it on today. Um, my foundation routine has completely changed since the last video that I made like a week ago, if that. Like everything's changed, so I might have to update that soon too. But I got to see if I'm really liking this routine because I always go back to that one. So. This is the Revlon Color Stay Combination Oily Skin Makeup. I've always loved this. This is my second bottle. Um, I've been applying it with a Kabuki brush, which is really weird, but it really, 
I really, really love it. Like, it's my new favorite brush to use. So, this is the 182 from Sigma. Um, I've been using this bronzer, which is an e.l.f. bronzer in Sunkissed. And you saw this in my bronzers video. It's a dollar at Target. Um, this is the concealer I've been using now, and it's the NYX Concealer in a Jar. Um, I've also been using the NYX Eyeshadow Base, which you guys might have seen in my tutorial. Um, I've been using this Healthy Skin Blends Powder from Neutrogena, and this is Translucent Oil Control Powder, because I don't want to wear like foundation and powder and concealer and primer and all that stuff, because it's summertime and I sweat like crazy. It's just TMI. Um, I've also, obviously, this is always going to be a favorite, so I'm not going to put in every favorite, but just know that this is like something that I would include in every single favorite. And it's the Revlon Colorstay um, Finishing Powder in Brighton, and I use this as a highlight, and that's why my cheeks are all shimmery and glowy, and I freaking love that. Okay, and then for my inner corner, still I've been using this, which is normally my everyday eyeshadow, um, but I've only been using this lately for the inner corner and my brow bone highlight. This is a Neutrogena duo that I don't think is available in stores. It was a sample that my mom's friend gave me. Um, this is a my favorite nude lipstick right now, and I'm actually wearing it. I like nudes for the summertime. This one is from NYX, and it's the ugh, the Lip Smacking Fun Colors. And this one is in Summer Love. And I think I had this in my bronzer video because it's like a bronzy nude color. It's really pretty, multi-purpose. And then, oh, and then I have, this is my favorite blush right now. Um, this is the NYX Cream Blush in Glow, 05 Glow, and it is so pretty. I have it on my cheeks right now, you guys can see. That's why they're like rosy and amazing, and I love this blush. It's so pretty. It's like, it's definitely pinky, but it's, a, it's like coral. I would say it was coral. You guys can see that. Let's see. Let me swatch it. You really don't need a lot of this at all like that is way too much like you I take my pinky and like barely dip it and yeah that's what I get on my cheeks and I love it right now okay the last thing no wait I have I have three more things so um this is my new favorite nail combination and I have it on my toes which I'm not going to show you because that would be weird um this is the Sally Hansen insta dry nail color in mint sprint and it looks like that 440 440 <laughs> however you want to say it um and it's like a it's not even really minty which is weird it's like a turquoise color so yeah Let's see if you guys can see that ah, there we go um and then on top of that i have um 24 karat nail clean color nail polish that's the brand it's like a gold glitter with like different color reflectors it's really pretty so i just put these on top of each other and i love it okay the next thing is not something that i recommend for anyone who's not over 18 just because i know that i have young subscribers um so if you're not over 18 then stop watching I guess or I don't know just it's not for I wouldn't recommend it for anyone who's not over 18 really and this is a book and I read this book before it's like totally destroyed it has like duct tape and like people have written in it because it, we passed it around like amongst friends and it's called good girl gone bad see that and <laughs> see this is why like you need to be over 18 but <laughs> that is like that and that's the title of the book and I'm not really going to get into what it's about because again for my younger viewers but if you're over 18 then check out this book because it's really really good and I'm not a reader but I could read this book over 
damn it. <laughs> I could read this book over and over and over and over and over and again. Again, Ugh. again, again. That was weird. Um, yeah, so I would read the back, but again, I don't want to corrupt anyone's minds. Is that the right word? I don't know, but I just don't want to get into all that. So this video was 15 minutes long, and I apologize for that. But that is it, and I'll see you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.